Welcome to the course Getting Started with Node MCU Step by Step. Before choosing any development board, you will look for three things. The first thing would be how easily you can connect the sensors and actuators. Secondly, for IoT project implementation, the device should be accessed and controlled remotely. And finally, it should be portable, inexpensive and readily available. Over the past few years, you might have heard about the popular boards such as Arduino, Raspberry Pi, BeagleBone Black, etc. These boards will fulfill all your requirements for your embedded system project but are costly as well as bigger in size. The idea is to use a board which is tiny and can be embedded anywhere for rapid deployment. In this course, I've covered in detail about Node MCU and how to set up step by step. After successful installation, you will learn how to flash the latest version of the firmware and get started. We will begin with Lua programming and complete two basic projects to understand the programming flow and the working process. Lua is powerful and fast programming language that is easy to learn and use and to embed into your application. After successful completion of these projects, I will also teach you how to configure and use Node MCU with the most popular and widely used Arduino ID and program it using C++. Using Arduino ID, we will code and complete two different projects. In the first project, you will learn how to make various patterns, animated graphics and execute it on the LCD. In the second project, we will harness the power of Node MCU by building a fully functional web server to remotely control AC appliance. We will not use any third-party app to access the web services. Rather, we will use web scripting language to code the web page and the backend server. I will also share the source code so that you can replicate the project by yourself. All technical queries will be answered within one business day. I look forward to you joining the course. Thank you.